What's up guys, Saturday Zulu here. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna make a little shoe video for you guys, showing my shoe collection. I'm gonna go one by one, I'm gonna show the price of the shoe, and just the name of the shoe, just something basic, you know. Something to have content for quarantine. So we're gonna start. Alright, the first one I'm gonna show you guys. This is a capping down 11. And these shoes go for 220 retail. Right now, they're going for like 340. Obviously in better condition, but it's a pretty sick shoe, probably the favorite of the 11s I got. Alright, next we got Spider-Man ones. Ooh, this I probably should clean these, but when they're brand new, they're pretty blue and icy. These cost 160 brand new. Right now they're going for like $400. Like I said, all the prices that I'm getting, they're from StockX. So it's in brand new condition. But yeah, they go for 420. They were new. And as you guys can see, I don't know how to tie my shoes. So I tie all my, all my shoes like this. All right, next we got, these are called Homage to Home, or H2H. And what's cool about these is that, so this part of the shoe, it's half. As you can see, this part is called a bread one. And this is a Chicago one. And what they did was, they just put both of them together. Probably the best shoe design ever, in my opinion. These I don't really wear. They look pretty new. These, again, all the ones, they go for 160 brand new. These in this condition, they'd go for around 350, according to StockX. Up next, this is a Crimson one. This one's decreased pretty bad. Like, these came out the box like this, but, oh well. These, again, they're 160 brand new. And for a while, they've been going for nothing more than 180. Right now, they're going for around 260. They're like a, a rose, a rose gold. They look kind of pink. The inside's pink. Next we got Rookie of the Year ones. These, they're pretty cool. They got, let me take this off. But they're labeled inside on both. This side just says the year 1985 and probably can't read that because it's backwards but but yeah anyways these also go for 160 right now they're going for around 320 and this is the closest thing I get to a Travis Scott Travis Scott's are another pair of ones that are brown these are like a light brown but probably the Best pair of ones I got, in my opinion. Up next we got Obsidian ones. I don't know why they're called Obsidian, but there's another pair of shoes like this that have a different type of material and it's the same color. And they're called Blue Chills. But these are, the material is way better on these. When every shoe that I got has some of these to keep it from creasing. And then, like I said, I don't know how to tie my shoes. They're all tied like this. But these, right now they're going for... Um, 260. Yeah. But these are heat. Obsidian ones, favorite color, blue. You already know. Also, if anybody's keeping track of how many shoes it is, count them, because I haven't counted them, so I'm not really sure. But up next... We got infrared sixes. These are the only pair of sixes I have. I don't really like to wear them that much. But these, I tie them because they have a little lace lock like that. These, I think they go, I'm not really sure how much these go for. New, but right now they're going for 240. But they're clean, they're beautiful. 
Okay, next. We got the socks, the shoes, everybody thinks are ugly. I like them. They're pretty basic. These new, I bought them for 900. And it's an automatic L when you buy these shoes because they're worth like 700 now. So, but I like them, they're comfortable. All right, another pair of 11s. These are, these are beaters, as you can tell. These are Legend Blue 11s. And believe it or not, these would go for like 330 if I took better care of them. But I don't. All white shoes are a big no for me. I cannot take care of them. Up next, we got my favorite pair of fives. These are black metallic fives. These I actually put tape inside right here. So the Nike sign doesn't come off. It's actually a good idea but these right now they're going for like around three hundred dollars probably if they were a little bit cleaner from down here check it out Air Jordan on the tongue the lace locks Space Jam 11s now these shoes I do not take care of them that much but Look at the inside. This one come with these out the box. But 11s are a beautiful shoe. These are a newer release. These usually, they have 23 in the back. They have 45 from when Jordan came back and got a 45 jersey instead of a 23. But yeah, these, these right now they're going for like 360. Like I said, obviously in better condition. But there's some clean shoes. Space Jam 11. I hate these shoes. These are called Win Like 96 11s. And these come with the, that too. These are way too red. Way too red. And these go for... Um, <laughs> 270. Yeah, 270. StockX. 220 brand new but this is way too much red for me so I don't even wear them and all these prices are 10 and a half I'm a 10 and a half so you know it varies by size the price if you're a size like eight seven it goes way up way more expensive some Yeezys I got three pairs of Yeezys these shoes are stupid comfortable and also, I don't know how to tie these either. See, I lace them up. And I wear these a lot. I mean a lot, look at that. But these go for, obviously, not like this. These go for like $500. They're pretty expensive. If you take care of them. Don't be like me, clean your shoes. But yeah, these are Beluga 2.0s. Easy 350s. Next up, guys, we have another pair of Yeezys. These are mm, non-reflective Yeezys. If you take a picture of these with some flash, this will light up. There's another pair that goes for a lot more, where the whole shoe has 3M, because these shoelaces are 3M, but the whole shoe lights up when you take a picture of it. But these are pretty beat up. My last pair of 11s, bread 11s. These were actually a gift from my baby. God bless. I'm scared to wear them. As you can see. Brand new. These are going for 260. They go for 220 brand new. Bread 11s. This is some heat. You gotta have a pair of these. Alright now guys. We're gonna start with DS shoes. With shoes, there's a lot of meanings for them. DS means dead stock, meaning they've never been worn. Ever. Meaning you haven't touched the laces. You haven't took off any of this. Nothing. These have never been worn. I could eat off these, but I won't. Actually, I could. 
but no. These are our zebras. Let's see how much these are going for. These are going for three hundred dollars to twenty brand new. These are my favorite pair of Yeezys. That's why I'm so scared to wear them. Ooh, dropped them. Another pair of Deadstock shoes. My custom AF ones. They have the Louis Vuitton with blue all around. And it's reflective as well, so if you take a picture of it, it's gonna flash. But I really like AF ones. They're a nice little decoration. These, obviously, you know, they go for 100 bucks. And then you just gotta get them done custom. Another pair of DS shoes. Michigan 5s. This is probably the biggest L I've ever taken. But I'm kind of okay with it. Remember the other shoes I showed you guys? They had Air Jordan. They say Inspire. Right here. So that's kind of cool. And these are like a special project or whatever. So these were 220. And literally as soon literally as soon as you buy them, as soon as you buy these shoes, they dropped. So they were 220 and they dropped to like 160 as soon as I bought them. So it was a pretty fat L, but I like them. I just won't wear them. That's ice. Check that out. Icy. Some more DS heat. Paris. PSG fives, check it out. This is the first shoe to do a collab, collaboration, whatever, with a soccer team. Obviously the soccer team PSG. It says Paris on the thumb. And these I just can't wear because look at that. That's too beautiful to ruin. But these go for um Three hundred dollars. I don't really know what the seventy-five is for, so don't ask. But these are these are sick. All right, and these shoes, these next two shoes, these last two shoes, they're a pack. They come in a bag. It's called the Gold Moments Pack, and they're my Grails. Your Grail is your shoes. Uh, you know your favorite pair of shoes, your best shoe. But I got two of them. And these come in these bags, they come in a big box together. And the first shoe is a seven. These are Jordan 7s, GMP Gold Moment Pack. The inside has the, the flag in it too. And you know, they're black, white, and gold. That's the color of them. And oddly enough, these two shoes well, let me show you the next shoe, and then we're gonna talk about the price. All right, this last shoe is probably my favorite shoe out of all of them because I love, love white. Check it out. I probably will never wear these, like ever. They're kind of hard to take them off. These got the shoelaces right here. Look at this. These shoes are beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, like I said, these are gold moment pack. These are sixes. I lied, I actually said I only have the other pair of sixes. I have these two. But it's so weird because these two shoes, they go for no more than $400, which is crazy. They're beautiful. But yeah, guys, this is the last pair of shoes. I honestly don't know why I like shoes so much. You know, people got their thing, they got their trucks, they got their hobbies. This is a good hobby. It's kind of expensive, but it's what I like. These are all them guys. Then I got my boxes. This is the box for that pack where I dropped the shoe. But 
you could get these boxes at the container store it would be cool if you guys could add up all the shoe prices and tell me how much the collection's worth because I I don't really know alright guys that's it for today's video let me know if you guys like the different content um, I could do more shoes or just let me know in the comments down there what you guys like seeing but thanks again for watching remember to like comment share and most importantly subscribe thanks guys